Hello everyone, this is Kimmy Kim and welcome to my channel. I hope you are all doing well and getting into the holiday spirit. I know I am. Um, I've already pulled out my uh, holiday decorations. <laughs> my daughter's going to be coming over to do that this week, so I'm excited about that. But with that, we all have crafts. Well, most of us, anyway, are um, itching to get into our holiday crafts. And with that said, um, Sue at Paper Inspirations has sent me a paper pack from Kathy Holden. She sells it in her store, and I will link her store down below. Um, and I wanted to show you a few things that I made from the paper packs. Now, I use almost the entire paper pack and all of the ephemera. Um, so, like, this is what I have left. I have just a few, a few pages left. So that is a mess. So I'm going to show you this pad here that I had extra uh, for a paper pad. Let me move these out of the way. I don't know what kind of glare this is. It is nighttime and it is pretty late at night. So the lighting is just horrible in here. Um, but these are all the beautiful uh, pages here. But I will flip through them real quick. The colors are just amazing. I just love the colors. And it was so much fun creating with them. I love this. This is one of my favorites. The green. That's beautiful. I like how they put the blue in it. So I did make some things to show some blue. That's just gorgeous, and I love that. The joys that feed the merry heart, the mirth of Christmas cheer. Be yours for many a Christmas day and many a bright new year. Took me a minute to uh, read that. It's kind of late. <laughs> I don't have my glasses on. So that was rough. This is really pretty here. Wishing you a Merry Christmas. And then it just repeats. So you have a couple sheets of each one. So yeah, you can grab that in Sue's Paper Inspiration Store. And now I will get into the crafty goodness that I made. It was so much fun. I did make a couple tags. I just really am into the tag making lately. And I showed an example here. I have one that I made here that a lot of people don't sew, and then there's those that do sew. Now, I prefer to sew, but I made this tag without sewing anything, and it just looks so cute. And see, I put one of those, the wider We Are Memory Keepers um, eyelets, and just some ribbon. I'm not the best bow maker, but uh, I guess I could trim these a little shorter, but yeah. So, and then I just put a little piece of ephemera on the back. You could stencil it or this is, you know, you could write your little note on the back. And I just used some, um, it's like some cardboard, variegated cardboard. And the charm, I think I got the charm. Oh gosh, I don't remember where I got the charm. This here, now, um, this here, the trim, you can get in Sioux store as well. And then I went ahead and... I'll show you a little bit. I sewed that a little wonky, but I liked that look. I did sew the one behind it as well, and then I used one of Tim Holtz's, uh, I think it says, it's one of those pins. I think it says, oh gosh, what does it say? Oh, it says thoughts, and the number 17, and then some little mittens I thought were cute, with the little scene and then I made a stuffed pocket we all love to give stuff stuffed pockets at this time of year and then we could write our little note on the back so with that I made I used some of the ephemera now this is the ephemera pack and I don't have a brand new one to show you because I used most of it but a great great ephemera pack and I just sewed a little now these tags you can get in Sioux Shop. It has some um, of the uh, doily look to it. And I just sewed around it. 
and that was part of the ephemera. I just added that, put a little bulb clip on it with a little charm. This was part of the ephemera here. This was another piece of the ephemera. And then this was a couple pieces of ephemera and I just sewed around it. So if you can see that. And behind it, I'm not quite sure if you can see, there's a big piece of lace. See, it's right here. And it covers that. I did sew around that, but the lace kind of covers it. And then here at the bottom, there's some sewing there. So I thought that was really pretty. And I will arrange that later, but... And you can stuff it with more, like I could, could have put more ephemera in there. A little letter, you know, it'd be really nice. Now here's another tag that I had so much fun making. And that was, I cut out, well, I kind of tore out that little saying that I, I read to you a minute ago. And then there was a stamp, and I just put a little eyelet. And a little doily. And look at the little bitty ephemera. It's so cute. And then I did the little wonky sewing. It's a lot of fun. I like doing that with the black. And then, of course, that ink it. And it was tea dyed uh, cardstock. This was a fun little different thing to do. And that's just a tea bag. And what I did is I took a piece of the ephemera and did a little layering, sewed around the tea bag, and then I put a little tag that was part of the ephemera, and a little charm, and there you go. You could also attach it to the page in your journal and have like a, um, a little pocket that way. And this trim I got from Sue as well. Okay, now for some more fun. I really wanted to use the blue. And I was curious. I was like, how am I going to use this blue and mix it with the, the green and the red? Because it is a different type of blue. And it worked out fine. I loved it. So let me, sh we'll start from the beginning. So I have this little, um, it's sorry silk actually. It's a different kind. It's kind of unraveled but I just cut pieces and sewed, sewed that on and of course you don't have to sew it I just like the look of it and these are pieces of ephemera that I sewed around sewed all around here put a little lace there for some texture and that little bell actually is a piece of ephemera it's so cute and then inside that was it from the ephemera pack I just layered it, some scraps that I had. Again, I sewed this, but now I didn't sew that one. So, but it looks fine. And I left these. These were the pieces of ephemera. Again, that's a tag of Sue's. And um, that was a piece of ephemera. I just zigzagged it and put a little piece of that sorry silk. And this is just a little book I put together. It just says wonderful. It's got a book page. I just thought I'd add something a little extra into the pocket. Because this folder, this like invitation folder, I guess is what it is. Uh, the pocket is really thick. So it gives you lots of room to just stuff it. And add lots of goodies in there. You can even fit more in there. And then the back, oh wait, the back, <laughs> the other back, right, um, made a little pocket. And I did that little messy stitch. A little messy look. But I thought it worked well. And then a little piece of ephemera, and I just put a little wax seal on it. A little jump, jump ring or whatever ring, I forget the name of them. And then a little button, little vintage button. This was a tag I made from the paper that uh, was not sewn, but I did a little different uh, for the tag there. And I gotta say this I think was my, the, the most fun I had was creating this. It was a lot of fun. 
so you can really make a lot with these little pads of paper they're six by nine there's 24 sheets 12 different designs and look at all the different goodies you can make now i could have made a journal but i thought i would make a little variety of things that you can send as a uh, friend mail or just in with your gifts so yeah so along with that so if you want to get your orders in you know, obviously in time for christmas that is the holiday paper and there is another pack here it's called christmas velvet i'll show you that one real quick i didn't use that one in my uh little designs there but uh, here, isn't that gorgeous? It's just gorgeous. I love that color. All of these. I love the smell of the paper. Look how beautiful that is. Really, really pretty pack. And then it repeats. Yeah. So yeah, that's another one. So those are the holiday, but I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick a few of the other things that are available in her shop. And I'm not going to go through the paper packs. I'll just kind of, well, I guess I will. That one's my favorite. I love that one. So this is called the Blue Green Palette Sampler. And I'll flip through quick. Obviously it's blues and greens. That has a little pink in it. I love this page. I just love that. That would make a really pretty cover to one of your journals. And then it repeats. So that's that one. And these are both the same. So this one here is Floral's Palette Sampler. This one's a real popular one. This one goes pretty fast in our shop. It's so pretty. Look at the colors. It's one thing her papers, Kathy Holden's papers are really, really vibrant. And I will be having a video. Gosh, I'm gonna try to get it out this week. I ordered uh, a whole collection while well, I'm thinking I have all the pieces of her fabric the um now it's like on the tip of my tongue and i can't think this is pretty um of the name of the, the palette but i'll have to i'll have to look that up when i tell you look at this would be really fun on the front of the cover these are just neutrals this one's just yeah neutrals palette sampler really fun for layering i just love the little doily one where'd it go yeah that one it's like a lace doily so those real quick and then of course there's these i'm not going to go through them but these there's a few different i don't think these are all the ones that she has she may have more um this one's happy thoughts this is home arts and this one is Reward of Merit. So they're, they're just different collections that she's got. You can see what she's got left on her website. Now these are stationary stock. They're stickers. But oh, they're so much fun. So they're stamps and labels. I love these. Some little, uh, they look like little cigar bands. They might be. More tags and labels. Love these. Really pretty colors. Really like that. That is the stationer stock. Yes. And this one here is etiquettes. And again, she's got more. Um, this is just stuff that I've collected from her. I love the greens. But this is really pretty too. Isn't that gorgeous? Just beautiful. 
There's so much you can do with them. Because you could stick it on a piece of cardstock and cut it, like fussy cut it, and it's just like a label. So, you know, you don't have to use it just as a sticker. See, there's lots you can do for it. So, happy shopping, y'all. Happy shopping. So there's Kathy Holden's Christmas collection, and I hope, oops, that doesn't help. It is just one big glare mess. I'm trying to show you. <laughs> So I apologize for that. Thanks for watching, y'all. I'll have more Kathy Holden coming soon. And um, as always, be kind to one another and stay safe this holiday season. Take care.